Miss Norberry? My t-shirt's stuck to my sweater, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. Watch out, please. New meat coming through. You're like really pretty. Thank you. So you agree? What? You think you're really pretty? Oh, I don't know. Oh my god, I love your brain. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. Two weeks later, we spoke again. It's raining. Yeah. Um, I'm totally lost. Can you help me? But I wasn't lost. Yeah. I knew exactly what Ms. Norbury was talking about. It's a factorial, so you multiply each one by n. Wrong. <sighs> what are you? I'm a mouse. Duh. God, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage. So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Katie, here you go. One for you. Um, and none for Gretchen Wieners. Bye. Who's that from? Thanks for being such a great friend. Love, Regina. That's so sweet. Mom, can, can you pick me up? I'm scared. The girls have gone wild. I'm there. Whoa! Hell no! I did not leave the South Side for this. Go out. Boo, you whore. Santa's helper is doing Jingle Bell Rock. She's the queen bee, the star. Those other two are just her little workers. Regina George. How do I even begin to explain Regina George? Regina George is flawless. She has two Fendi purses and a silver Lexus. I hear her hair is insured for $10,000. I hear she does car commercials in Japan. Her favorite movie is Varsity Blues. One time she met John Stamos on a plane. And he told her she was pretty. One time she punched me in the face. It was awesome. It's so crazy, don't be children yet If you can see, then you get over